What is up everybody, it's King Kunta, and today I am bringing you another glorious gold farm. And uh, this farm was actually brought to my attention by another YouTuber named Sharkin, some of you might know him. You can uh, look up his channel, um, and yeah, he's a really good guy, uh, I've been watching his videos for a while, and uh, he puts out some great content, so go check him out. But uh, today, we're going to be looking up his farm, basically. And uh, I've already looked at this area in the past and I saw that there was some, um, it was semi-promising, uh, the area he was in because Mode of Mana obviously sells, uh, very well right now and, um, <clears throat> and this farm basically, you know, it's easier for us to obtain them now. So, um, I'm thinking, you know, why not? We'll go ahead and, uh, check that out real quick. So I'm going to show you, of course, what we're going to be farming for. He also showed us some very uh, rare vendor locations um, where they actually have chances to sell items that sell for like crazy on the auction house. So we're going to look up uh, how much a Mo of Mana is on my server. Okay, so just one Mo of Mana is uh, eight gold. But then what we're going like, to see is you can see ten of these turn into... Primal Mana. So if we go and look at Primal Mana and you see that price difference there. It's uh, 255 gold basically around that on my server. Besides the, this guy trying to undercut everyone. But uh, yeah, so that's the price is on my server. If we look over here, you can see the regional market average is uh, 420. So most likely you're going to be on a server where uh, the chain, like the price of your stuff is probably going to be a heck of a lot higher, around 300, 350 gold, and you can hear that airplane going by, and I don't know why I decided to go by now, but oh well. And uh, yeah, so basically that's all I have to tell you from Stormwind at least. So what we're going to do is I'm going to cut the video, and uh, we're going to go ahead and go to the farm now, and uh, I'm going to show you all the farming things you need, all the vendor locations, all that good stuff, and uh, hopefully it'll help you make a decent amount of gold. And I'm going to go ahead and I'll cut the video and I will resume the video when we are at the location. Goodbye. Alright everybody, we're back after that cut. And as you can see, we're at uh, a different location, obviously. And uh, before I go ahead and tell you about all the goodies of uh, like that and the vendors, vendors I want to go ahead and ask you to uh, go ahead and subscribe or leave a like down below. It really helps me out. And uh, yeah, give me one second here. Sorry. I recently got a World of Warcraft uh, for the Alliance mug. Just just to make all you Horde people mad. I'll put a link to it in the description, I guess, if anyone wants it. But uh, So we're at the first vendor location. And we are in Outland, in Netherstorm. So in order to get to Outland, you have to take the portal in the main city, and you get into like uh, Hellfire Peninsula, then you take the flight path to somewhere around here, and then you go to this town right here, Area 51, and uh, I'll just fly up, make it easier. So you're going to want to go to this area where it looks like it goes downstairs, because the NPC we want is this guy right here. Now he has a chance, let's see here, yeah, I obviously didn't get it. He has a chance to uh, sell you an item that is worth about 3k on the auction house and it sells off really fast and it's just an easy 3k gold to get. Obviously I don't have it in here, too bad. And uh, yeah, so it's worth it just to come check this out before you actually do go to the uh, farming location because if you do that then you're going to be pretty well off. You'll be able to start yourself with an extra 3k on the farm and uh, it'll, it'll definitely help you out. So. What I'm going to do is I'm going to cut so you don't have to watch me fly to the actual farm, and then we're going to show you the for real farm that you're going to make tons of gold with, okay? And cutting in now. Alright guys, so we're at what you really came to the video for. We're at the farm. So I'm going to go ahead and show you on the map. We're at... Oh my gosh, I'm not even going to try it. <laughs> in uh, Nether Storm, you can see the location right here. And it's in Outland still. So... If you uh, come over here, you're going to look up, and you're going to see all these glowing white mobs. And oh, Mana Seeker. That must mean they drop mana, right? Yes, they do. Now, from other videos on other YouTubers posting this, they say you need a five-man group. I don't think that's exactly necessary. 
I agree that it would be much more profitable in a five-man group, but I think it's easily doable by yourself. Um, if you do have a group of people and you are going to do this farm, I recommend you set them on either sides of the town and just clear all the mobs out because that would be the easiest way to go about it. Also, um, before you begin this farm, make sure you have bear tartar. Um, I guess Luterang might help too. If you have a Luterang, that'd be great. Uh, it's an engineering uh, like uh, trinket, I believe. I don't know. But um, yeah, you can do that. Also, when you're here, we want to kill all the mobs because these all have a chance to drop a moat of mana. And uh, I actually have contacted a few people that uh, participated in this farm before, and um, they were able to get, I, I mean, 200 moats of mana in uh, just an hour, just with a group of uh, six people. So it did work out well for them, so I believe it will work out well for my, uh, my YouTuber base as well. So as you can see, you basically just go around and do this. Obviously, if you want to start the stopwatch and... Um, Go ahead. Yeah, did you see how many I just got there? That was an insane amount. Um, so what I would do, basically, when I farm this alone, and uh, what other people do as well, is we use a stopwatch. So exactly what that is, I'll show you. You do slash stopwatch, and uh, this pops up. You can go ahead and start this, and once it reaches um, 1 minute and 59 seconds, I switch to my flight or my travel form, and I go loot. Um, that's obviously if I can't find a group of people to continue the farm with. If you can, that will obviously be much easier. Since I'm posting this farm and a couple other people are probably going to be posting this after me, you're going to go ahead and see a big increase in uh, people flocking here. So your chances of actually finding a group are uh, pretty high now. So, yep, this is basically all you do. Just fly around, kill stuff. And uh, they're going to go ahead and drop modes of mana. Now, I guess I just got really lucky uh, on that one because that was an actual insane amount of uh, mana to get to drop. But as you can see, you can just keep doing this. It's very profitable. And I'll show you right here. So these are the boats. See, we already have enough to make one. So we're going to go ahead and make one. And that's how much that's worth right there, the prim primal mana. Obviously, if you look at the market average, the chances of this being way higher on your server is like very likely. There's a very good chance that this stuff is just going to be way more profitable on your server than it is on mine. I don't know why mine just tended to die down after all the current Legion content Legion content was finished. As you can see, I got two off of that one. But yeah, you basically just run around here. <clears throat> yes, it is better if you do it in a group of five, but it's not impossible to do on your own either. And uh, just wait till you see someone else farm it and maybe go ahead and invite them to a group. And yeah, I believe that might actually be it for this farm. Um, like I said, if you have any questions or comments, I am always helpful uh, for at least the first hour after I post a video. Um, after that, I kind of am a busy person, so I don't expect me to be able to get to all yours if uh, you haven't posted it in the last hour, but I will try my very hardest to do that because my subscribers are what keeps my channel going and I want to help you guys out if you guys ever need help. Also you can sell all this vendor trash um, to and earn a little extra gold and uh, other than that that's about all the resources you can uh, sap out of these guys. Obviously it's easier if you have higher mobility and actually put bear tartar on like I didn't do. But yep. And if you're a looter, uh, if you're going to do this in a group, make sure you have a droid with you because the droid can just uh, go in a travel form and loot and doesn't even have to leave it. So you don't have to dismount and remount every single time and that really helps out with the speed and how much you're going to come out of the farm with in the end. <clears throat> so, as you can see, that's about all there is for this farm. Uh, if you like the video, please leave me a like or a comment or something down below. Um, any sort of, like hey, you're doing a good job or something like that. It really helps out. It makes a lot of a difference. And you guys probably don't realize that in that, but it really, it, like, my motivation comes from you guys. And when I have people telling me that I suck, <laughs> it doesn't make me super happy. But then I always have those few people that are saying, you're doing great, you're putting out very good content, and I like what you're doing. And those are the people that keep me going. Also, check the links in the description if you're interested in, in any of the camera gear or, well, not camera gear, any of the computer software stuff that I use to record if you want to go ahead and start your own videos. Also, everything 
every spec that's in my personal computer that I use for everyday use is in there. The only thing I don't have up, I believe, is my monitors. But, I mean, I can put those in there if you'd like. If you want me to put my monitors in there, go ahead and tell me in the comment below. But uh, this is it for the farm. And uh, thanks for watching, guys. And I hope you have a wonderful day.